वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स और टू डेज टॉपिक इज क्वारिक सरफेस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल द ग्राफ ऑफ सेकेंड डिग्री इक्वेशन एन एक्स एंड वाई दैट इज ए एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस बी एक्स वाई प्लस सी वाई स्क्वेयर प्लस डी एक्स प्लस ई वाई प्लस एफ इक्वल टू जीरो रिप्रेजेंट अकॉनिक सेक्शन This equation may represents a straight line, a parabola, a circle, a hyperbola, an ellipse, depending on the value of constants. Basically, quadratic surface generalization of this equation, that is, we add one variable z to this equation and get an equation of the form, that is, a x square. Plus b y square plus c z square plus d x y e x z plus f y z plus g x plus h y plus i z plus j equal to zero. Now the graph of this second uh, degree equation in x y and z represents a quadratic surface. Few examples of quadratic surface are, are ellipsoids, hyperboloids of one sheet and two sheets. elliptic cone elliptic paraboloids and hyperbolic paraboloids now we discuss these curves one by one so first one is ellipsoid ellipsoid has equation x square upon a square plus y square upon b square plus z square upon c square equal to 1 The traces in coordinates planes, that is x, y, y, z, and z x planes, and the planes parallel to coordinates planes are ellipses. So, in coordinates plane, that is in x, y plane, we put z equal to zero, and we get an equation of ellipse, that is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equal to one. Similarly, the trace in y, z, uh, z x plane, we put y equal to zero, and we get And ellipse and x z plane. Similarly, the coordinates and other uh, the traces and other coordinates planes are also ellipses. Now, next one is hyperboloid of one sheet. Its equation is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square. Minus z square upon c square is equal to one. The trace in x y plane is an ellipse as our planes parallel to x y plane. Again, trace in x y plane and the planes parallel to x y planes are ellipses. Clearly, when we put z equal to zero or z equal to some constant, we get equation of ellipse. The trace. In y z plane and x z planes and planes parallel to y z and x z planes are hyperbolas. So for y z plane, we put x equal to zero and we get equation of hyperbola. Similarly, for x z plane, we put y equal to zero and or y equal to some constant, and again we get equation of hyperbola in x z plane. Next one is hyperboloid of two sheets. Its equation is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square minus z square upon c square equal to minus one. There is no trace in x y plane. Clearly, there is no trace in x y plane. We can see here the in planes parallel to x y plane, the traces are ellipses. The planes parallel to x y plane. Uh, when we put z equal to one, z equal to two, z equal to three, we get ellipses. And y z and x z planes and planes parallel to y z and x z planes, the traces are hyperbolas. For y z plane, we put x equal to zero and we get equation of hyperbola. Similarly, for x z planes, we put y equal to zero or y equal to some constants for the planes parallel to x z planes again we get the equation of hyperbolas its figure is shown here hyperbola uh, hyperboloids of two sheets there are clearly two parts of this 
figure as in previous one and that was a hyperboloid of one sheet there was only one part of this uh, of that uh, quadric surface but here there are two parts so this is called hyperboloids of two sheet next one is elliptic cone its equation is z square equal to x square upon a square plus y square upon b square the trace in xy plane is a point clearly here we can say that in xy plane its uh, trace is a point uh, we can get this point by putting z equal to 0 and the traces parallel to xy planes are ellipses if we put z equal to 1 or z equal to some constant we get ellipses the trace in yz plane and xz planes are pairs of lines intersecting at the origin for yz planes and xz plane we get pair of these straight lines intersecting at origins the traces parallel to yz and xz planes are hyperbolas hyperboloids ah, sorry hyperbolas the traces parallel to yz plane and xz plane similarly if we put uh, z equal to some constant so we get equation of hyperbola next one is elliptic paraboloid its equation is z equal to x square upon a square plus y square upon b square the trace in xy plane is a point clearly in xy plane its uh, trace is a point here the trace in the planes parallel to xy plane and above the xy planes are ellipses so the trace above the xy planes are ellipses if we put z equal to some constant we get equation of ellipse the trace in yz and xz planes and the plane parallel to yz and xz planes are parabolas for yz plane we put x equal to 0 and when we get x put x equal to 0 we get z equal to y square upon b square which is a parabola in yz plane similarly for xz plane we put y equal to 0 and we get a parabola in xz plane its figure is shown here it has only one part that is above uh, xy plane our last codex surface is hyperboloid para uh, hyperbolic paraboloid its equation is z equal to y square upon a square minus x square upon b square the trace in xy plane is a pair of line intersecting at the origin in xy plane we put z equal to 0 and we get pair of line intersecting at origin the traces and planes parallel to xy planes are hyperbolas for the planes parallel to xy plane that is if we put z equal to 1 uh, we get hyperbolas here we can see that hyperbolas hyperbolas above xy planes open in y direction clearly these hyperbolas above xy planes open in y direction and below xy plane in x direction and below xy plane we see that these hyperbolas open in x direction the traces and yz and xz planes are and planes parallel to yz and xz planes are parabolas so for yz plane we put x equal to 0 and we get its equation z equal to y square upon a square which is a parabola so its figure is shown here this was our first lecture on quadric surface for more videos on quadric surface uh, visit my playlist of YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.